Really, it all boils down to why would the game insert me in a world full of hostile NPCs, especially direct insertion among some of the most vile things I've ever, anyone's ever seen. How many people here hate Black Palpacy? Raise your hand and say aye if you think you don't like those people. Well, guess what? I had to deal with them one-on-one -on -one for half my life, and then I realized once they started getting real upset that I want to run for president instead of be their little puppy, um, they, they turned really vicious and stuff, and uh, that was funny. I like God. It actually is fun, but not really. I don't want to be here. You see, being forced to live against my will is a lot of things to me. Not having five things in the world I asked for, having all this other trash I've been given. Um, that's cute and cool. Um, but, you know, is that too much to ask for one thing? Probably not, right? NPC get tons of stuff all the time. They are some gluttonous, greedy individuals. They eat constantly. They watch TV constantly, they love all that, they do that all the time. And it's like me, I'm just like looking for a way to kill time because time is life and I'm trying to kill life. So, uh, get, get this over with real fast. When, and didn't realize it and putting it together that it's actually happening that way too. And it's not just like some sort of sickness. Uh, that would almost be cool if I could be as mentally defunct as most of the things I've met on this planet, but unfortunately I can't unthink like they do 24-7. The odd thing about them unthinking and failing school with their A's and less is um, the game can just hijack them and make them intelligent. It's like you didn't have to fail school with A's or less. You could have got, you could have scored higher than me. You could have won some awards and, you know, like, a, you don't have to be like LeBron using your little uh, Judea gang signs and killing Kobe Bryant to win your next thing, right? If the game didn't set it up that way, it probably wouldn't be like that at all, right? Because it's obvious when the possession, the cloning, and the material summoning occurs, then it's, uh, it's fake, you know, it's very obvious it's fake, and uh, set up as well, obviously. I mean, how, the one dude when I was trying to talk to the European dude comes up, and he's like, this isn't how you talk to him, because I'm just like, hey dude, like, I only got like five minutes, I'm talking to this group of proud boys, and I'm like, you guys know these are, other people are stalking us, and like, uh, destroying our lives, and keeping us away from each other, right, and, uh, and then dude shows up and he's like, hey, I just seen you over at, uh, at Black Lives Matter. And it's like, yeah, you did. And unfortunately, I'm seeing you here. And he's like, and then I keep talking to him and he's like, I keep talking to the other dude and ignoring him. And he's like, that's not how you do it. Like, he's literally using this to interrupt my conversation with the human and stuff. He's like, that's not how you do it. You got to talk to him like in a different way, you got to like slowly indoctrinate them into knowledge before they can learn anything. And it's like, okay, the whole point of this story actually is right now you're here confirming every word I just said. You're right. I don't have to talk to them and tell them anything except for the fact I just did. And what you told me I was doing was wrong. A thousand percent confirm that what I just said was exactly what is happening. So, hell, I guess I did it wrong.